Hello and welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game video. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a controversial topic here. And that is the prices for the DLC that Gun Interactive is charging for every bit of DLC for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game. And, uh, you know, I've heard different things on both sides and I just want to share my input on what I think about this. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory here. I think it's a little bit too much, but I do want to break down each of the prices for the DLC that they plan on charging. And uh, before we get started, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on videos like this in the future. Let's go ahead and get started here with the free content, and that is going to be maps, etc. Uh, first off, I assumed that they were going to be dropping maps for free. Uh, they did that with Friday the 13th, the game as well, completely see that being a good thing. That is a perfect thing. I would not want to be charged for maps to play in the game. This is an online only game, so playing maps or charging for maps that other people, you know, can't afford to get or different things like that, I can see that being a problem. So they're gonna be charging the maps and also extra pieces of content for free. They didn't disclose what extra content they're gonna be charging. I would assume some different, there might be some free cosmetics and stuff here and there. Uh, not all cosmetics, of course, but you know, just different little things here and there sprinkled into the game that we will be getting for free. Now let's go ahead and move over to cosmetics. Now that will be for clothing and weapons and they are charging $4.99 for each piece of cosmetic and weapons. Um, hopefully they end up doing a bundle for this because I, I, I don't like the idea that they're, from what I see here, based on this sheet that they gave us online, uh, it doesn't look like these are going to be bundled by any means. So hopefully they end up doing bundles to where you can get pieces of clothing and weapons put into a bundle for a specific price. Um, right now it just says it's $4.99 for cosmetics. So the idea of paying for like a weapon cosmetic and then an outfit uh, for $4.99 each, that is $10 uh, for an outfit and a weapon skin. I don't really like that. For the price, now if they end up bundling the outfit and weapon itself for $4.99, I can see that being a good thing. I can see that being completely okay and I would be okay with paying $4.99 for that. But if they end up doing $4.99 individually, I can see that being a problem and I don't think they should do that. Um, I did hear Riley say they did not state that they're doing bundled cosmetics or anything like that. I don't know on that end because with executions, that first set of executions that we could buy uh, literally on launch was $6.99 and it gave us extra kills for each character. So they may end up doing bundles. It's not 100% clear. Uh, it's not very transparent on that, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now executions for $6.99. I already paid $6.99 for literally on launch to get those extra kills uh, for the family members and I am completely okay with that being $6.99. Um, hopefully it's not $6.99 for one kill. Hopefully these are bundled like they did originally where you get an extra kill for each character or a couple or three characters, you know, etc. Let, let's hope it's like that because if it is $6.99 for just one individual kill, that's going to kind of be a pain in the ass and that'd be kind of ridiculous. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the characters on the victim and family side. They are charging $9.99 for each individual character. And although I've seen that happen before, say with Dead by Daylight and different things like that, Riley from Slash and Cast made a really good point on this. I'll leave a link down to his review and everything down in the, com uh, down in the description below. Uh, but he was saying, you're paying $10 for a character, correct? You're gonna be like psyched to play that. Well, when you get into the lobby, there's not a guaranteed chance that you'll be able to play that character. Like say, I wanna play as the cook. Well, a lot of the times if I go into a lobby, someone's already the cook and if you ask them, they're gonna decline that offer and you're gonna be stuck with Hitchhiker, Leatherface or the other two. And I can see that being a big problem. If you're paying $10 of your hard earned cash to get a character, for the game, whether that be on either side, you're gonna wanna be able to play that character. And right now, the way they have it set up, it's a little bit difficult. Now, Riley made a good point saying there should be a way to grind the game to to unlock the character. And I can see that being a good thing. Are they gonna do that? I don't know. I think that'd be a good idea, but it's all up to gun, of course. Uh, $10, that's not a bad price tag to pay for a character. That's not what I'm saying. That's not. 
a bad price at all to pay for a character. But what makes it bad is the fact that there's no guaranteed of being able to play that new character that we paid for. You know what I'm saying? Maybe with updates and uh, future unlocks of characters, maybe that'll be a different story. But as of now, with just the new characters that are supposedly based off leaks going to be unlocked around October or so, um, I can see that being an issue. The big issue and this is the issue I do not agree with whatsoever, is the premium content. Like they stated, the Greg Nicotero skin uh, for Leatherface, completely badass. I'm going to be paying for this regardless because I'm do. Res i a horror fan at heart and I respect him. I think he's a fantastic special effects artist, so I'm going to support the game. And of course, I'm going to, of course, represent Nicotero himself. And it's, it's a great piece of content. The problem is the price point. It's $15.99. That's $16. And that is half the price of the base game. That is half the price of the video game. And I just, I cannot justify that price for that piece of content. Uh, I am, of course, I do cover Texas Chainsaw Massacre content. And so I'm going to have to buy this skin eventually. But I just can't justify that price. Now, if they dropped it down to like $12.99 for $13, uh, you know, I'd be completely okay with paying maybe $13 for that. It does come with a kill, an original chainsaw with original sound. It does come with the leather face skin, etc. So I, for $13, I'd probably feel a little bit more comfortable doing that. If you don't want to set it for the same price as a character, I'd set it for, set it for just a couple more dollars for 13. I'd be completely okay with that. But $16 that, like I said, that is half the price of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. For $30, you buy the game. For half that, you buy just a skin for one character. I cannot justify that. I don't know what made them think that that was okay to do. Uh, granted, I think maybe inside they're like, oh, if they're real horror fans, they're going to buy it. And that's correct. I am going to buy it. And so many other people are going to buy it. But that is just, I don't know. This is coming from someone that totally loves Gun Interactive. I think they are... They're one of the most trusted developers to handle horror IP, and I would totally support them through and through. I just think this price for the premium content is just not the way to go. I hope they do some adjustments, but it's hard to say. But that is my input on the DLC content that they will be releasing, the prices for this. Uh, let me know, do you agree with the price points? Do you think it's a problem? Or do you think, you know, if you're a horror fan, you're gonna buy it and just support the company? I completely understand with that as well. Let me know your opinions down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because it does help out the little guys like myself. And until next time, take it easy, bubs.